Hello dear students and welcome to a new English lesson. In today's lesson we will go through module 2C reading part 2 and we will go through a comic strip in detail and we will study some new vocabulary items in your students book pages 26 and 27 and in your workbook page 28. Let's first have a look at the objectives of today's lesson. Today you will be able to 1. Identify new vocabulary items correctly 2. Locate specific information after reading a comic strip So today we have two objectives to achieve And now, dear students, look at this picture and answer the questions. One, what are the people doing? They are hiking, excellent students. Your answer is correct. Two, what are they carrying? They are carrying backpacks. Excellent again. Three, name four things you should have when you go hiking. A backpack, a compass, a torch, a map. Great job, dear students. All your answers are correct. But why should you have a compass? To know the right directions, excellent students. What about the torch? To flash around in the dark. Your answer is correct again. Great job, dear students. You could answer all the questions. In this slide, dear students, I have some words for you to remember. Battery. In this picture, you can see a battery. Example. The battery of my mobile phone is dead. Dead in this sentence means not working or empty. Dark. Dark means when there is a little or no light. Example. It usually gets dark after sunset. Gadget. Gadget means an electronic device or tool. Example. I have many electronic gadgets in my room. Information. Information means data or things known about something. Example, I surf the internet to get useful information. Now kindly open your workbook on page 28. In your workbook page 28, go to task B. Read the given instructions. B. Circle the correct options. Here you have six sentences. Each sentence has got two words to choose from and complete it correctly. Kindly pause the video and choose the correct options. Let's check your answers now. 1. Climbers need a backpack, torch for all their things. Backpack is the correct answer. Well done, students. 2. Sahar needs a new app, battery, for her camera. Battery is the correct answer. Well done, students. 3. The GPS is a great website gadget for drivers. 
Gadget is the correct answer. Well done, students. My geography book has got a great map, compass of the world. Map is the correct answer. Excellent again. 5. In summer, it gets heavy, dark at around 9 p.m. here in my country. Dark is the correct answer. 6. Can I use your laptop? I want to find some emails, information on the internet for my history project. Information is the correct answer. Great job, dear students. All your answers are correct. And now, open your student book on pages 26 and 27. In your student's book, pages 26 and 27, we are back to the comic strip. Kindly go to task C in your student's book, page 27. Read the given instructions. C. Read again and answer the questions. Here you have six questions. Let's go through each and read it. 1. Why is Granny's backpack heavy? 2. What did Jenny take with her? 3. Does Jenny know how to use a compass? 4. What kind of book has Granny got? 5. How do they find the name of the flower? 6. Why can't Jenny turn on the torch on her phone? Now I will play the CD on the comic strip. Listen, read, and try to find the answers to these given six questions. 2. Read. I've got an app for that. What have you got in your backpack, Granny? It looks really heavy. Well, I liked going hiking with my father when I was a girl. We need lots of things, dear. We need a map, a compass. No, we don't. I've only got my phone. It's got an app for everything. Well, I didn't have a mobile phone when I was your age. Let's check the map. This trail goes north, I think. Here, take the compass. Um, I don't even know how to use this. Forget it. I can check the GPS on my phone, Granny. I knew a lot about flowers when I was young. I wonder what kind of flower this is. Let's check my book. It's okay. I can check it. It's a chicory flower. Is that information in your phone? No, but I've got internet. Our car is near. Good, because it's getting dark. I can turn on the torch on my phone. Uh-oh, the battery's dead. Don't worry, it's a good thing I have a torch with me. Let's check your answers now. 1. Why is Granny's backpack heavy? The correct answer is... Because she has a lot of things in it. Well done, students. But where can you find the answer? In the comic strip. Well done, students. When Granny says, Well, I like going hiking with my father when I was a girl. We need lots of things, dear. We need a map, a compass. Your answer is correct. Let's move to question number two. What did Jenny take with her? Her phone. Well done, students. Where can you find the answer in the comic strip? Well done, students. When Jenny says, no, we don't. I've only got my phone. Let's move to question number three. Does Jenny know how to use a compass? The correct answer is, no, she doesn't. Where can you find the answer in the comic strip? Well done, students. I don't even know how to use this. 
Forget it. I can check the GPS on my phone, Granny. Well done, students. Your answer is correct again. Let's move to question number four. What kind of book has Granny got? A book about plants. Well done, students. Where can you find the answer in the comic strip? Well done, students. You can see Granny checking a book about plants. Now we move to question number five. How do they find the name of the flower? Jenny finds it on the internet. Well done again. Where can you find the answer in the comic strip? You can find it here. Well done, students. Your answer is correct again. Now we move to the last question. Question number six. Why can't Jenny turn on the torch on her phone? Because the battery is dead. Excellent students. Where can you find the answer of question number six? Well done again. You can find it when Jenny says, Good, because it's getting dark. I can't turn on the torch on my phone. But she continues and says, The battery is dead. Well done, students. All your answers are correct. Let's now move to the over to you section in your student book page 27. Discuss. What other gadgets have mobile phones replaced? Can you answer this first question? Well done, students. Mobile phones include built-in flashlight that replaced a torch. Can you think of other gadgets? Alarm clocks, well done students. Cameras, excellent again. Timers and radios. All these gadgets are replaced by mobile phones nowadays. Let's move to the second question. What do people your age usually use their mobile phones for? To surf the internet. To send messages. To play games. Excellent again. All your answers are correct. Let's move to the last question in the over to you section. What do you usually use your mobile phone for? You can discuss this question with your teacher and classmate at school. And here, dear students, I have this task for you as a closure. Read the sentences and match them with the pictures. Here you have the four sentences. And here you have the four pictures. Kindly pause the video, read the sentences and match them with the pictures. Let's check your answers now. 1. He is replacing the battery of his mobile phone. Which picture shows someone replacing the battery of his mobile phone? Well done students, your answer is correct. 2. I got a text message from my friend. Excellent again. 3. I can see different gadgets on the table. Well done students. 4. It's dark in here. I will turn on the light. Excellent again. All your answers are correct. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Stay safe and goodbye.